Okay, here we are again. Thank you, ladies, for your patience. Welcome to Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici, and I don't like Facebook. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just like get over it, and I can't. So I go to hit live, and like the camera's tall right now. Normally I have it wide, and when I kept hitting go live, it wouldn't do it. So then I'd flip it tall and it would do it. So I don't know, who knows? Maybe you can't go, hi, Mike, how are you? Yeah, so I guess, I don't know. Hopefully it's just this one week because otherwise I have to get, um, I'm, I might have to take a picture of like the Jimmy Rig system that I have here to um, be able to do this um, because it's, it's kind of hilarious. There's like paper pumpkin boxes, my marker box, a bunch of cardstock, another paper pumpkin box like a vase and then my phone is like propped up against this vase so anyway but i'm again worried about um let me flip the camera down but we might just be sideways and as my good friend and downline team member sharon mentioned to me if we do have to flip the camera down and I'm sideways, sometimes I will turn it. You guys will have to tell me if I'm turning it like upside down or the right way. So we'll see. But anyway, we are gonna have some fun today, I promise. I'm like, okay, I'm over it. I'm like, I'm kind of running around like a crazy fool though too. So I'm like, okay, I wish I had a fan on. I, I didn't turn that overhead fan on. It's, it's fine though. So, okay, so here we go. This is what we're gonna play with today, you guys. I'm super excited. I couldn't quite get into, Bonnie, Monica, hello. I couldn't quite get into Christmas yet. Like I know what we're at the very end of September, but there was something for me that like, oh, I couldn't quite do it. So I know we did like beautiful fall cards last Facebook Live. So I kind of veered off path and, well, it's not because it's in the holiday mini catalog, but it is the um, Modern Garden, what is it called? It's the Modern Garden Stamp Set and Punch, but it's actually the Garden Walk Suite. So we have the Modern Garden Stamp Set, which is a super cute. We've got these fun, obviously floral images and then sentiment saying, enjoy. Enjoy your special day. Best wishes for a fun-filled future together. Wishing you the warm blessings of Christmas and it's your birthday. So cute stamp set, right? There's a fun Teresa. Hello. Um, a fun, this is the, what is this one called? I don't even know. The modern something punch, like a modern label punch or something like that. So it fits perfectly around some of the images that are in the stamp set. And then we also have these beautiful, what are these called? I used a couple of them. These are the Blooming Pearls. So this is another item in the suite. And again, it's called the Garden, oops, the Garden Walk Suite. So I love these pearls. They're very, very, very pretty. Um, and then some designer series paper. Everything is falling out all over the place today, you guys, because that's how it's gonna go for me today, I think. Um, so let me show you that designer series paper. Let's just get this out of the way. So here is some beautiful, and it's kind of, well, beautiful floral designer series paper, kind of on one side. Can you see all those pretty patterns? Kathy, hello and welcome. So you can see there are some um, kind of more Christmassy paper with the reds and the greens, right? And then just some other beautiful floral. And then the opposite side is just kind of um, more simple patterns, I guess I would say, but a beautiful kind of color palette in that garden walk suite. So that's what we're going to be playing with today on Facebook Live. I'm super excited. I actually had a bunch of requests for, how did you make that box? That So I showed a bunch of pictures from our customer appreciation event. Um, gosh, was it just last week? <laughs> This month has been like crazy. So especially the last couple of weeks, it's been super duper crazy. So um, yeah, but it was, it was just last week on Wednesday, we had our customer appreciation event and I made these super cute little boxes. I'll show you the one um, that I made for everybody. So again, featuring the designer series paper that we are going to um, play with today. So um, I had so many requests for, what are the measurements? How do you make this box? I was like, this is like a no brainer. This is what we're gonna make on Facebook Live today is this cute little box. Obviously you can change it up, put whatever designer series paper you want on it, um, You know, any kind of embellishments you want on it. I love these for little birthday party favors. Um, they're great like for Thanksgiving to maybe put on your little table setting or your you know place settings. Um, great for Christmas little ideas. So, and I'll show you, so I think I have in here. I haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> um, the little Reese's, so, you know, like the little um, mini 
um, Halloween candy is fit perfectly in here. So Hershey Kisses would be good in here. You could probably fit like six of them down in the box. So anyway, we're going to make this today so that that kind of helps everyone understand. I made a few changes to it, but that's what we're going to be making today, along with another beautiful card with that designer series paper in the Garden Walk Suite as well. So the other thing I have to tell you guys, I and I was just checking before we hopped on Facebook Live, we did it. We made, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to be like bouncing off the walls, jumping up and down. We did it, you guys, $400,000 in sales. I reached my goal. Today is September 29th, so we did it early. I think it was probably even late last night that it might have happened. Um, but anyway, so just in the nick of time, we got to the $400,000 in sales mark. So thank you, guys. I honestly, I was prepared to put a big order in myself because I was like, I really want to get to this. But I was waiting, you know, until the very end to see if we could do it. So you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I... Well, I think I was still like $1,200 away, like just a couple of days ago. And I thought, okay, you know, that's like a lot of money, right? Lots of orders. Um, so I've just been blown away. So completely humbled. This happened last year when I had the big push at the end of the year to try to earn the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. This year I was, I knew I was going to be able to do that, but I was really hoping to meet this $400,000 in sales goal. It's kind of funny. I think it's, um, there is something, there is something cool about it. Like Stampin' Up! will do, um, recognition when we go to the onstage live event in Houston in March. And so I'll be able to walk across the stage for the $400,000 in sales. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So thank you guys so very much. I truly, truly appreciate. And I know I say it, but I can't say it enough. I appreciate every single order, every single comment on Facebook, every single Facebook message, email, um, just love hearing from you guys um, and knowing kind of what your stories are too and kind of sharing that connection and that love of stamping and paper crafting. So thank you guys so, so very much. And I want to say also, I was trying to... Um, I think I'll just mention it right now too. So another friend of mine, Lisa Bauer, who is part of, um, you guys know I do these demo design dream team PDF tutorials every month. There are 16 different demonstrators that put projects together every single month come into this whole tutorial that you can get for free when you order through me. Um, a $50 order can get you that PDF tutorial for free. Well, one of our fellow Demo Design Dream Team tutorial members, Lisa Bauer, who she is like the mega behind the scenes helps put um, those tutorials together, which it's a lot of work. Like I don't have that skill set and she definitely does. Um, so she, I learned that she's really close to earning her very first incentive trip. Um, I think maybe yesterday she was still like $500 away. So she's super duper close and you can't like, you, you gotta earn the trip. If you're that close, you gotta earn it. So hi Carla, how are you? So I wanted to let you guys know, since I've already reached my goal, I want you guys to order through her. If you're gonna order today or tomorrow, I will include her information. She has a host code. Um, so if you're at all inclined to put an order in and you wanted to support me, we did it. We already did it. And I want her to be, uh, I was going to say on the ship, but it's actually um, in Mexico. It's a trip to in like an all-inclusive, a beautiful, amazing resort in Cancun, Mexico. Um, and this would be our very first incentive trip. So I will give you guys her host code. What I understand that she's doing is, um, <clears throat> what did she say? If you spend $100, you automatically get $20 in free product and then she's got maybe like a bingo board or something. You'll get your name in two different spots on the board. If the entire board gets filled, she's gonna give away $500 in product. So I don't, I'm like, I gotta get the details on how she's working this because it sounds kind of fun and I think I would love to do it also. Um, but at a minimum, even if she doesn't fill the board, you're still gonna get um, $20 in free product. So just know that. Um, like I said, I will give you the host code. Um, I can tell you it right now. Um, so if you go to stampinup.com and order, um, even I think if you're under me, like if you're normally shopped through me as a demonstrator, if you put this host code in, it should pop right over and give Lisa credit instead, which is what we want to do. But just today and tomorrow, I, is that awful? Um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday, Friday and Saturday. October 1st, you can order through me again because hopefully she'll have earned the trip. Um, but I would love to help her out too. And I thought, what a great um, way to do that, right? Since I've already reached my goal, let's help her get to her goal too. So this is her host code. It's 
T is in Tom, C is in Cat, T is in Tom, N is in Nancy, J is in Jerry, P is in Paul, R is in Ralph, and S is in Sally. And I will post that. So once we're done with Facebook Live, I'll include her um, her host code also, so you can order through her and help her help her get. I always keep saying on the ship, get help her get to Mexico. So that would be a, give her a super big hug when we get to Mexico. Even though she's over in, I think she's in Freeland, so she's not very far. She's in Michigan anyway. So, okay, all right. Um, I have so much to show you guys, and I feel like I'm like seriously like bouncing off the wall. So, couple cards that I received. So funny thing that happens. Um. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys, but so my front porch, I have maybe like four or five steps to come up to the porch. And when I bought this house like 10 years ago, there was a really ugly, awful um, uh, mailbox down at the bottom of the steps. So I finally got rid of it maybe like two years ago. And I put this cute little like metal, um, like kind of old fashioned looking um, mailbox on my porch. So you had the post man, post woman was gonna have to like walk up the five steps. Well, apparently like once your um, your mailbox is down, like off the steps, at least here in Alma, they, he was, the postmaster was like, I will not approve for her to walk up those five steps every day, which I get because it's five steps here and five steps everywhere else. Um, but anyway, I still loved my mailbox on the front porch. So generally mail doesn't come there. So I don't really check it there. I put it um, on the back of my house because there are no steps. Hi, Philomena, welcome. Um, so most times, I mean, when I check my mail, I check it at the back every once in a while, maybe every week or two. I'll peek at the front and just see if, if there's anything in there. Well, of course there was a birthday card in there. So long story short, I just received your card, Monica. It was, well, it was a little bit ago, um, but I thought, okay, I have to share with this with you guys on Facebook Live. And Philomena, thank you for the share of Facebook Live. Okay, so this is Monica Talbot's super cute birthday card. I love this. So can you see? And even like the little die, I'm, as I'm looking at that, I'm like, to figure out what die that is because that is so perfect right it says a birthday wish for you so she stamped and die cut that absolutely perfectly right and then I love the layout too so you'll probably be seeing a card made with this layout very soon too I love how she used the designer series paper on the bottom there also and what is her sentiment she stamped in here may your birthday bring you as much happiness all oh, as you give to everyone who knows you isn't that so sweet thank you they I don't know if I like really truly read that like it's really mm, it's beautiful so what a great sentiment. She says, hope your birthday was special. Thanks for sharing all your creativity, Monica. So thank you so much, Monica. Super duper cute. Monica does great, beautiful work. Um, so love, yeah, love that card. So thank you, thank you, Miss Monica. And then, did I don't think I've shared, this was a birthday card from Teresa, who is also watching this, Teresa Hinchman. She is one of our Inkspired Stamper team members. And this is a birthday card that she sent to me as well. This, I think, might have ended up in the front mailbox also. I'm trying to remember that too, but isn't this such a cool, here's another one that I'm totally, so can you see, I don't know if you can, all of the comments are kind of like covering things up, but it's like a little pop-up, but how cute is that, right? And Teresa does beautiful work as well, clearly, right? So this is, is it the Darling Details, that bundle that I featured a couple months ago um, in our class to go, but so cute, right? So she's got the happy birthday sentiment with wishing you all the happiness you can imagine and the cute little butterfly. I love how she just she put one right there and then one can you see on the inside there too with that beautiful paper on the back also so thank you Miss Teresa for that birthday card as well and then lastly I wanted to share so one of my team members another team member Miss Beth Martin uh, I think she dropped off something for me and she had this cute little thank you card in there so I have to share this one let's see if I can yeah, it goes, right, yes, it goes like that. So all these fun folds, aren't these great? And then featuring the designer series paper, so that's kind of fun too, right? So this cute little thank you. So she's got the thank you sentiment there, uh -huh. and then it says thank you because you're awesome on the inside. Yeah, thank you very much, Miss Miss Beth. And then she actually decorated the envelope too with some designer series paper, so super cute. So I had to share those cards with you guys. And these probably all, because they're all fun layouts, will have to go in like my little stash of um, card layout ideas. So you'll probably be seeing some version of these down the road on a future Facebook Live. Because those are like, yeah, a lot of good, really, really good um, layouts there. So, okay, um, let's see. Yeah, it's funny because in my notes I had in, in here that I, I still need another like fill in the blank to reach the $400,000 in sales, but phew, we did it. I'm just so happy because I'm actually heading out of town this afternoon for the weekend. So I was 
kind of um, like a little stressed that like, oh, I'm not going to be like near my computer much this weekend. Um, so I'm glad that like, okay, uh, we did it. We got there. We're all good. So now I can go um, and enjoy the weekend. Um, okay. So let's see. Oh, the other thing I wanted to let you guys know is I have one designer series paper share left. Uh, so if anyone is interested, here it is. I think I'm still um, no, everything's in here now. Yep, I have all the designer series paper. So if you're interested, you get a quarter of a pack of all the paper in the holiday catalog. You get a half a pack of these cute little gems. I've already sliced them in half and popped them right in here. I can ship it to you. It's $51 for the um, designer series paper share. If you happen to have been shopping on my buy one, get one free sale um, online, which you're still welcome to do that. I'm kind of not pushing that because like I said, I'm really hoping to get Lisa some sales um, between today and tomorrow. So just remember that September 30th, um, tomorrow, Saturday is the last day. Oh, Teresa. Okay. I've got your name on it. Oh, I'm like, I need to get a pen. Hold on. Hold on one sec. Cause today's the day where, um, oh, <laughs> I still like, there's a lot going on. So, okay. I'm writing Lisa's name one or not Lisa, but Teresa. Okay. Got it, Miss Teresa. I will get that sent out to you. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good. Now, no more paper shares, right? <laughs> Cause you know, what's going to happen one more person is going to want a paper share and then I'm going to have three more left if I do order it, which I will do that um, because I can always use the paper myself too. They're like, I always love to have the designer series paper. So, um, but yeah. Okay. So let's see, let me scoot this out of the way. Um, we are going to do our first drawing. Things are like into shambles just because I've had to like rig this up. Okay, so what are we going to give away? Um, they're hiding. They're underneath here. We're going to give away these adhesive, the iridescent adhesive backed discs. This is what we're giving away today. So your name is in the basket if you signed up for my email list or if you shared our last Facebook Live video. So one lucky winner. Oh, they're like all stuck together. Okay, let me get those separated out. Okay, one lucky winner will receive the, they're super cute too. I don't know if you can tell how cute they are. They're, I call them discs because they're just like this little flat embellishment, but they're super like sparkly and shiny and, and iridescent too. So they have like different colors kind of shining through depending on the light. Okay, so here we go. Oh, Miss Carla Dilly, who I think is watching also. Carla, congratulations, and thank you for sharing the video. You are the winner. I will put these out on the porch for you. Give me till late this afternoon, though, um, to get myself organized and get those put out on the porch for you, okay? Um, let's see, we're going to dump those there. Names for the other. Oh, good. I grabbed a Kleenex because I was um, feeling like... I was going to sneeze. Like as soon as I was going to hit like go live, I was like, oh, oh, I'm going to sneeze. So that Kleenex was covering things up. Do you guys even care about that? No, you don't. But like, that's how, <laughs> you know, like this whole, like, I'm just going to keep talking and talking and talking. Okay. So what are we going to give away on our next Facebook live? If you share the Facebook live video, this one right here, this crazy one right here, or if you sign up for my email list, you are going to get your name into, into the drawing to win the rustic metallic adhesive back to dots. So these are awesome embellishments for your fall projects, okay? Because they're kind of that metallic-y metal, um, just like a fun little add-on. They're great, kind of earthy looking, I think, which I always think of like fall as those earthy looking colors. So this is what we're going to give away is that package of those rustic metallic dots. And they've got the glue dot on the back of them, so you don't have to futz around with any of that either. Um, okay, we are, oh, I want to show you guys. Okay, so we had our team meeting. It was actually about two weeks ago, so our Inspired Stampers team meeting. We featured the pick of the patch stamp set. So we had this fun. These were our make and takes. This is a cute one, right? You're the pick of the patch with those fun little um, pumpkins. Then we also had this awesome Halloween card. Another cool um, card layout right here. Um, so I participate in... Um, why can't I even think of what it's called, but like a meeting planner program. So I don't even design these. Rhonda Wade designs them or people on her team design them. Um, so can't take credit for any of these, but I love um, doing that because it kind of helps cut down on my workload of coming up with um, cute project ideas. And then she always has great kind of reasoning behind why she picks the products to share with our team and kind of promote their sales and businesses as well. So, um, but I love, like I said, that that's another card that's going to have to go in the like cool card layouts, right? And this one is beautiful too, right? We've got this one with that beautiful ribbon and then the fun, beautiful um, leaves. You've got that sentiment that says a harvest of blessings, 
Love that black and white. So this is the larger, the vanilla, uh, very vanilla and black check ribbon as opposed to the white, the basic white and black check ribbon. This one's a little bit wider than the, it's like an eighth of an inch. So it's just a tiny bit wider, um, but there's that one. And then we made these cute little boxes, which I love, right? So you got that little cutie pie with the little pumpkin and then this, so it slides out. If you guys haven't seen these, these little boxes are in, um, the holiday mini catalog. So it's not sliding very easily for me right now, but it really there, there you can kind of see, right? So yeah, it just slides in. So I just um, added designer series paper, that pretty little bow, kind of decorated all the way around. I love that, um, is that herringbone? Love that, right? Yes, I think, I agree. Thank you, Philomena, not my idea. Not many things are my idea. I will share that with you guys, but it doesn't even matter because everything's so cute and fun. And as long as you give credit for whoever you cased your idea from, that's good, right? Um, okay, so those were our make and takes. Sorry, I'm like, ooh. Okay, oh, um, we did a mystery project, which I also, um, we featured another, um, another, well, this is more designer series paper from that Them Bones designer series paper, but check this out. Isn't this cool? It's like a little accordion in there, right? So you open that up and then we decorated it and then you could write your sentiment on that last flap or on any of them. You could write it on all of them if you want to write lots of fun stuff in there. But that was our mystery project. So this is fun at our team meetings on our Facebook Live. I give them all of the dimensions, everything that they need to create this card, but I don't tell them like, oh, I'm using the Them Bones Designer Series paper or that Starry Sky ribbon or we're going to do these sorts of things on the inside. They kind of go to their stash and figure out what they want to use and then they come and put it together with me as I'm making mine and it's so fun to see what other people's vision of kind of the details that I gave you know what's their card going to be like so mystery project very fun um then I also top five sellers um top five sales each month to get a fun card for me and then if they make it into the $600 club which one did I give away? I think so, I think I gave back the uh, or gave the Tinsel Gems three pack. So if you're long distance, I mail those out to you with your little top five sales card here. So this was one that I featured um, that Autumn Designer Series paper, which I think is still unorderable until about the middle of October. Um, so hopefully soon it will be available again because this is beautiful paper. I've really hesitated to show much of it just because you can't order it. So if you got it, awesome. If not. Hang tight, you'll be able to get it in October. But I would keep an eye out because I think it's come in and then sold out like really quickly a couple of times. So if you want that paper, um, email me. If you want the paper and I can keep an eye on it and let you know as soon as it's available. Because like I said, as soon as it becomes available, I think you got to order it because... I don't know. Hopefully they order a whole bunch, but who knows? I I don't know. I would never want to be in like purchasing at Stampin' Up. I will say that <laughs> for sure. Okay, so these are some swap cards that we received um, from our various Inkspired Stamper team members. And so this one is actually, um, one, I was going to say Paper Pumpkin, but it's not. It is actually, oh, she flipped it this way. It's in this queue. So this is one of um, the Memories and More card packs that card is from Patricia, hello and welcome. And then um, this card base is actually from the note cards or the cards and envelopes. I can't remember what this one is called, but it's in our annual catalog. But if you search on stampinup.com note cards and envelopes, you'll get um, this full. So this is actually, so she put one of like the note, um, what, these, let's see, what, do I, what am I trying to say? The note cards and envelopes, and then she used the cards, the memories and more card packs. So this is a large card and that's a small card, layered it on here and then here are some cute stickers. And then isn't that fun with the coordinating envelope with the polka dots on the inside too. So this is from Miss Sunday, um, one of our Inkspired Stamper team members put that swap together for us. And then let's see, we have this one, this beautiful, this one is just a note and I'm hoping I helped myself out. Okay, I did not. So I'm gonna say maybe Jenny Boffman uh, created this card, but hold up if I, hmm. Oh yeah, yep, that one's from Jenny. I was gonna say, I thought I put stickies on these, but they're not very good stickies, so they fell off. <laughs> That's what happened there. And then this one is from Julie Wilmot. So you can see it's, I think, the same stamp set, right? This beautiful that coordinates with that designer series paper right there that I can't think of right now either. Um, but yeah, isn't that so beautiful? Black and white, or then these are kind of the colors that are in the designer series paper, right? I'm gonna say Lost Lagoon. So there's the thank you, and she always um, includes, she does it like this, right? And then she's got the sentiment. So it says, thank you, may the good you do come back to you. Love that sentiment, right? Which is so very true, I agree. 
And then this beautiful one, another, gosh, everybody used this stamp set now that I'm looking at this. This is from Teresa Hinchman, who is watching also. Another beautiful happy birthday card. I love that card. And I love... Um, showing these, so displaying these um, at the church where we do our classes at the Peace Lutheran Church. I put all of these out so everybody can see them. And then this one is from Charlene Mogg. Isn't that so cute, right? So fun. The beautiful, oh, she did a beautiful, like, look at, so cool on the inside too. I'm gonna have to remember that, right? Another great, like, cool layout on the inside also. So she's got happy birthday to you, something great to celebrate you. <laughs> so cute. So thank you, Charlene, for that swap. Then we have, this one is from Elsie Lynch. So she's got a beautiful daisy card that says celebrate you right there. Gorgeous card, right? And then last one, this one is from Sharon. So this is from Sharon Greening. And I love, um, she. I think she even told us about the sizes of these. I can't remember, but it's cool, right? The layout with the little stripes on there. So she just took a piece of designer series paper and cut it and spaced it a little bit, put it on a piece of black card stock. So beautiful swaps from everyone. Our team members, our Inkspired Stampers team members are very, very talented. Okay. I think I showed everything related to team stuff, right? Um, let's see. Okay, I think we are ready. Are we ready? I'm going to check my notes here. But yeah, we are ready to do our next drawing. So this drawing, your name is in my basket, yes. If you ordered through me, use the host code for September. You are automatically going to get... These are the two cards. I love these cards, right? These are beautiful fall cards. You're automatically going to get these two cards as a thank you from me for your order. You also got to pick from a free embellishment for September, which are kind of these speckled dots, although I tried to order more today and they're unorderable. So if you ordered like late this month, I was going to give these to you as your free embellishment, but I don't have enough to give to everybody. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, so either a free embellishment, which I think I'm going to go with. There's some other sparkly. Oh, I think these are what I ordered. So we'll go with these too. The Faceted Gems Trio back pack. So one of these, so you get to pick a free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, the 16 project PDF tutorial you can pick from this as well, right? With a $50 order, okay? And then your name is in the drawing. Sorry, I know I'm kind of like being long-winded, right? So you always get the two cards from me. You get to pick from the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial and your name is in the drawing to win and it's coming. It's not here until tomorrow, so I don't even have the stamp set quite yet. Oops. And shoot, I think I had that open for another reason. I think it was this one. So, you, <laughs> sorry, talking to myself. Your name is in the drawing to win this warmest heart stamp set. I have seen some super cute projects made with that fun little thermos and then the little rainbow and the um, sun and all the other cute little thingies in there, right? So, we've got you warm my heart, get well soon, and thanks. And then just some... Just some super cute imagery in there, right? So it'll be fun to see what whoever wins that stamp set. Again, it's coming tomorrow, so it'll be shipping out to you um, on Monday next week when I get back from being out of town. Okay, so here we go. Winner, 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 winner. Yes, I know, Philomena, that paper is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? The autumn paper she's talking about. Okay, so winner of the... Oh, I already flipped. I'm like ready to show you what we're gonna give away next. Ooh, one in my hand. It is uh, Miss Stacy Decker. All right, congratulations, my good friend Stacy. Who? Okay, you guys, say a prayer for Miss Stacy because she um, bought a new condo. Um, closed at the end of August, supposed to be moving in tomorrow. Movers are coming, and last Saturday night she fell and broke her ankle and her leg. Can you imagine this? So she is a um, like trying to figure out how to get everything packed. Lots of people have been there helping pack because she's having surgery today, actually, on her ankle. So it's like just total chaos. So I'm going to be very excited to share with her that she won that stamp set. She'll be she'll be excited about that stamp set, I'm sure. So congratulations, Stace, and good luck in surgery today and the move. I'm going to be helping her. She, she had all these people lined up to come help her pack. She's got movers coming tomorrow and then people to help her unpack. So I'm like, put me on the list. Tell me when you need me. So I think I'm signed up for next Sunday to go down. She's about an hour and a half away from me. So I'm going to go down and help her get um, kind of unpacked and settled and I don't know, run errands, whatever she needs to do because she it was her right ankle and leg so she can't drive either. So it's just 
Can you imagine that you're moving your entire life and you break your leg a week before? Like, <laughs> poor girl, like not good luck, right? So yeah, as I laugh, she's like, Amy, it's not funny. I'm like, I know it's not, but I don't know what else to do, Stace. Uh, okay, so on our next Facebook Live, two weeks from today, we are going to give away, I will have this one too. It's coming in the mail, the gift of giving. This is one that I keep looking at. I'm like, it's so stinking cute, right? So you got the little package there and the little coffee cup and the sentiments are gifts from Santa Claus, which I guess it is. It's funny because it almost looks like a little girl with a bow, but that's actually a bow on the top of the packages. So there's Santa kind of in his suit and his boots there, right? And then this one says, have a cup of cheer, which can you, so if you like to color, even if you don't, I think maybe doing a couple of those would be a lot of fun. Um, all the little like doodads in there that you could color. And then we've got, oh, fun, gifts from Santa Claus. Oh, okay. If we got a little to you, I'm trying to figure out how that works. Maybe gifts from Santa Claus to you. You could do that on the outside and the inside. So super cute stamp set. This is what we'll give away. I will give you, now I'm trying to decide. I was going to use the September host code. I think we're going to switch over. We're going to use the October host code now because I really want you guys to order through my friend Lisa through the end of September. So through tomorrow night and then starting October 1st, Sunday, that is, um, use this host code if you want to hold off and order. Um and get all my freebies and stuff from Facebook Live. I'm gonna give you, I think I have it. Let me make sure I have it right over here. Yes, okay, good. I do have my October host code printed out. Good, good, good. Okay, so yeah, I'll give you that host code in just a sec. That'll get your name in the drawing to win that gift of giving stamp set. Okay, we're gonna put that over here. We talked about the designer series paper. Not worrying about that. I was trying to figure out if there's any way I don't think there is. I think we're going to be sideways, ladies. Just can't, I'm trying to, just can't decide, right, if there's going to be a way to do this. I'm going to give you this host code. Because, yeah, when I put it in my clamp and I don't have anything else, do I? Hmm. I'm looking at my other thingy that I normally use. No, because it's got to be tall. You guys are tall right now. I don't have anything that will hold a tall thing like that, I don't think. Okay, so we're going to be sideways. Sorry, guys. Like I said, um, Sharon had told me, like, turn it sideways every once in a while so people can see it. Um, I think you still get the idea, right? So, And someone call Facebook and tell them to stop messing with stuff, all right? Tell them to keep things the same way so we don't have these problems all the time. So, okay, what do we got? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good. All right. It's better to be sideways. Thank you. That's right, Anna. Better than not at all. So hi, Amy Jo. Welcome. Okay. Turn your heads away. Um, we are flying through the air. I think I threw my list of what we we're talking about <laughs> somewhere on the floor. I don't know. Okay. Uh, turn your heads away. We're going to fly through the air and we'll flip the camera down and then I'll figure out what I'm doing next. But I think I know. So I think I got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. What a day, right? I don't know. It's like I live my life like this, right? Okay, so here we're going to flip down. Okay, so there. You guys can see it's like the flashlight. Is the flashlight on? Hold on. I think it is. Yeah, okay. I must have touched some other button. I feel like... Okay. All right, there. Okay. Maybe it turned... It thought maybe we needed it because it is a little bit dark. I thought it was going to be like brighter and sunnier and more beautiful today, but hopefully it's coming. Okay, so tell me if we're sideways, guys, but this is our host code, the WJTDC373. But don't use this until October 1st, okay? Order through my friend Lisa if you're going to order today or tomorrow so we can get her to Mexico, okay? All right, um, I think let's talk about, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, 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 I can do this. Okay, Class to go, pick of the patch. Let's just chat about that real quick. I have these four cards that we're making in the class to go, right? You're going to make all four of those, two of each of them, so eight cards in total. A um, couple of different options. Option number one includes the bundle. It includes the wavy trim, the sequins, and what else? There's something else, right? 
Oh, and the designer series paper, a quarter pack of the Them Dones designer series paper, which is actually what you get for free in option number um, one with this class to go, $73. Option number two is if you already have the pick of the patch bundle, so the cute little um, pumpkins and the punch. If you already have that, get option number two. You get the wavy trim, you get the sequins, and you get the designer series paper quarter pack, $32. Um, did I mention today is the last day to RSVP too? So make sure you do that because I got to get my order in um, to get a everything so that we can get these things sent out to you guys, right? Um, option number three, PDF tutorial, free to my downline, $15 for everyone else. Also option number four, $15, make and takes for my team, my expert stampers can get all the parts and pieces for just $15. Again, RSVPs are due today. So if you're interested, such cute cards, right? And I went with more of a fall feeling than Halloween, but you could change up the sentiment and use your Halloween stamp in there too, if you needed to do that if you need those instead. Okay. All right. Here are my notes, but I think I'm good. Oh yeah. We'll do that next time. Okay. All right. Let's do our cards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's make some, let's make some projects, Lana. Okay. All right. So host code can go up there. Make sure I'm in view. Good. Everybody can see, right? Actually, let's get that over a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's do the box first, okay? So this was the one, like I said, that I made for customer appreciation. I also love to make these for my um, club members. So anybody that is in any of my clubs, I make little club member treats each month. So that's what I made for everyone. So I changed it up just a tiny bit. You'll see it's very similar, right? But I made a birthday one this time. And then I used um, some of that Lost Lagoon ribbon instead. And then some of the, I thought I had two dots on there, but maybe one fell off. <laughs> it's probably somewhere in my tub, right? Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I see it. Let's put that back on. I'm going to go that way. There we go. Okay. Now it has two dots on it. So cute. Love those pearls. All right. So, choo -choo where are my directions? That's what I really need to make sure to tell you guys what to do here. Okay. I'll put those there. So, it doesn't take much either. That's what's kind of cool about this little box. So you can make one of these boxes with a half a sheet of cardstock, okay? Because you're gonna have two pieces. I have pretty peacock cardstock here that measure four by five and a quarter inches, okay? You are going to score one of them. So again, two pieces, four by five and a quarter. You're gonna score them at one inch on all four sides. So super simple right there, okay? And then for the box, you want it to be just a tiny bit bigger. So I have like just these little, these are like the back of my post-it notes basically. So um, just a few, you could even use like a little stack of post-it notes. So not too many, right? But I'm just gonna put that over there in the edge just so that um, the one inch is a little bit, um, actually this is gonna do the bottom. This is gonna make it, a little bit smaller just by kind of holding that in there so one inch is over just a tiny bit more than it would have otherwise been. But that's the idea. If not, you're just kind of smooshing your box a little bit to get it, um, you know, for one part to fit inside the other, if that makes sense. I can probably explain that again when we actually go to make it too. Okay, let's see. Let me grab this little guy also. Okay, so next, where are my, I need my glasses. One moment, please, because it is, it's dark. Do you guys think it's dark, the lighting? Does it seem dark to you? I am a little concerned about that because um, I haven't done this Facebook Live in my craft room like this in the winter. And obviously in the summer, it's a lot brighter. In the winter, you know, we don't get much sun or not as much as I would like. Okay, so we are going to, we're gonna cut up on each of the score lines, I like to say to the intersecting score line, okay, to make kind of the um, bottom and top of our box, right? So we're just gonna, I like to just flip, so I'm always working on this one end right here. That just makes it a little bit easier to fold those in. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing here. And then we're gonna do the same thing here gonna flip that in and then we're just gonna kinda 
I don't know. What do you say? Miter the edges? <laughs> I have no idea. We're just going to, we're kind of clipping them a little bit there, right? So that's how that's going to look. The idea is that we're going to put adhesive on these things and we're going to flip it up like that, okay? So we're going to do that same thing here. Again, cut up along each of these score lines. So along kind of the short side is what I like to do, okay? That one and that one, and then that one, and that one, right? And we're gonna do one more, okay? This one here, this one here. So um, I think I mentioned going out of town this weekend, I'm gonna go to Grand Rapids, which is just about an hour and a half away. Actually, it's where my kids are at school, so I'm gonna get to have dinner with them tomorrow night. Very excited about that. But they have something called Art Prize in Grand Rapids that I think it's like over 150 different like displays of artwork all over. It's mainly downtown, so you wander around and kind of check things out, and you can even vote on your favorite. And it's like hundreds of thousands of dollars are like awarded in prizes and scholarships and things for this art prize. So it's very, very cool. And this weekend is the last weekend. It's been going on for a couple of weeks now, started the middle of September. So we're going to get over there just in the nick of time to see things. So as I've been talking, I've been putting this box together, right? So same thing, I'll kind of re-explain here. I like to use my Seal Plus. Tear and tape is good too. You need something that's a little bit stronger um, to kind of hold your box together, I would say. So you just, this is the outside of the box. So in each of the four corners, then I just fold this up and in, and you just want to make sure things are kind of lined up there, right? And then I like to press firmly Put that down there. Sometimes I get a little adhesive rolling off the edge further than I want it. So I'm going to just flip that back there. Okay, so we got that one there. We got that one there. And I'm going to press firmly. And if I did this right, yeah, the one is a tiny bit bigger than the other. So there's the bottom, there's the top, right? Okay, I have to turn sideways to see if there are any comments. <laughs> yes, Bonnie. Yes, sideways. Yes, yes, yes. And Philomena, you're always so gracious. She's a, um, she participates, Philomena does, in um, the Class to Go Club. So she gets these cute little treats every single month. Okay, so where's the rest of the paper? So we have, now we're going to use, so this is Wild Wheat cardstock. This one measures three and one eighth by one and seven eighth. Um, let me make sure. Is that right? Yeah, three and one eighth by one and seven eighths. Yep, that's what I have on there. So that one's there. And then my designer series paper measures three inches by two and three, one and three quarter. I'm gonna say that's not right. Three by one and three quarter. So we're just gonna layer one inside the other. Let me grab, where's my adhesive? Right here. Okay. So we're gonna add our adhesive right here. Okay, we're gonna just put that. This is part of... And why can't I remember? It's from the Garden Walk Suite. It might be the Garden Walk. It's probably the Garden Walk Designer Series paper. Yeah, so super cute little paper right there, right? Kind of a fall feel to it, I would say. Again, some of them seem kind of wintry, Christmassy with the, um, what's the traditional flower, the red flower? Totally drawing a blank. I can't think of it right now. <laughs> It'll come to me. It will come to me. So I'm missing, hmm. here it is, okay. Yeah, so I want, this is the box we're making, so I'm going to pull that back out. So we need to stamp, so we're going to stamp our sentiment, our little, it's your birthday, okay? So you see how simple those boxes are? There it is, it was stuck. I'm like, where's my, had a little backup piece in there, but, okay, so here we go. So yeah, again, super simple, right? Easy to make. Make them for birthdays, make them for, gosh, you can make them for baby showers if you had, you know, kind of a baby, little pastel colored theme, right? Okay, scoop that out of the way. We're going to die cut, right? So we're going to just do those little leaves. And this is uh, Pretty Peacock and Calypso Coral are the colors, right? And then we're also going to die cut that sentiment. So let's grab our die cutting machine. I think I have all my dies. I designed these cards. Well, not I did this, this box a long time ago, but the other card I did maybe on Monday, which feels like, I don't know, three weeks ago at this point. 
Um, so let's see here. Yep, we've got her. So these are the leaf dies. Or is it called the... <laughs> so these are all the dies we used last week on those cards, right? So I need that little guy. So isn't this a great way to sell? Like, don't you guys want these dies now? Actually, this is the way to sell these dies right here. You can make these cards <laughs> with all those dies that I just showed you that are all jumbled up in the back of that. Um, that's what you can make with those, right? So the All About Autumn or the Autumn Leaves dies. Awesome, right? And then I used, I'll show you, these are the Tailor Made Tags dies. So we've got this one, kind of the smallest with that little scallopy edge on the top there, okay? All right, so we're gonna put this down in here. This is the only one that I need to make sure it's straight. Everything else, as long as it's on the paper, on the cardstock, we are good to go. Okay, so again, super simple, cute, easy little project here, little treat box. Okay, and I wanna show you, because I didn't think this is stitching, yeah. So you can see the stitching around there, very cute, right? And then these things, they always stick in there. I don't know, maybe my um, die cutting machine is a little bit looser, it just depends, right? So there's one leaf, but I love how um, the detail, right? The little veins of the leaf. Isn't that cool, right? And all the comments are in the way, so I can't see <laughs> very well. All right, there we go. We got that. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. It's so, it's actually not that well used yet, so I, like, I couldn't see it. It's not brand new, but it's, I saved the good ones for you guys, okay? <laughs> all right, so let's see. Where is, I brought my little silicone mat over. No, I can't. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I put it back. Who knows? So we're going to add a little bit of adhesive. I like to use this guy as my little, my work surface here. So we're going to add some adhesive here and here and here. I'm going to put a little bit more on those there. Okay. So let's see. We'll do the, it's your birthday, just like that kind of hanging off the edge a little bit. I like to curl those a little bit too. Give them a little bit of texture and dimension there, right? And then that one there. And then we are going to use, again, this is the Lost Lagoon bordered ribbon, right? Yes, Lost Lagoon. Okay. So we're going to make a little bow. Is everybody doing okay? All right. I don't think I've missed comments, so that's good. So just make a, I love this ribbon. It's really easy to work with. I don't know if I'm making a good example of that, but it's just a nice, um, is it a linen? They call it bordered, but I feel like it's kind of got a linen look to it. It's just really, really pretty. So we're going to just make like a tiny little bow here. I'll grab my scissors that are not where they're supposed to be because I already grabbed them. <laughs> they're over here on the edge of my table. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's get a little bow here. That, that. Okay, glue dot we need. I think I have a really old package of glue dots because they. I'm so used to having the glue dot there, but it's actually on the part where I think it should be. And it kind of confuses me because I'm used to the other ones now. <laughs> so I don't know. I had them in my stash. I'm like, ooh, I have a, an old package there, right? Okay, and then lastly, oh yeah, I had those out over here, didn't I? The Blooming Pearls. I need to, you know what I'm gonna do right now? So they don't keep falling off my little thing, right? Oh no, they didn't do that. This one did it too. There, okay, so I have a couple packages. One is more used than the other, right? So we'll put those on there, but aren't these, they're beautiful. Should I turn it sideways like this? Is that better for you guys? You have to tell me, yeah. But so cute little pink and a couple of different shades of green and then a gold. They tell you, I'm sure they tell you in the catalog what those colors are, right? Okay, so we're gonna grab some scissors and I kind of use these. They seemed a little bit more, um, what do I wanna say? Just kind of like a variety of colors in there. So, but I don't know what they are. Someone, if someone wants to look it up and tell us what colors are in here, right? They're very pretty. It's whatever colors kind of coordinate with that suite. I'm sure with the garden walk suite. Okay, 
We're going to need those again for our next project. Okay, so there's your box. So it, wasn't, it was so easy. Again, a half a sheet of cardstock makes the box. And then put some little designer series paper and a cute little sentiment and some little doodads. And you're good to go, right? Okay, so there we go. Project number one. Okay, I'm going to scoot this stuff out of the way. And then I'll show you. Too, okay, so I decided, I, I, I guess I, did I say I couldn't do Christmas? Well, I guess I kind of could because I wanted to use it for this card with this designer series paper. So we've got this, wishing you the warm, warm blessings of Christmas, again, with the new um, label punch. And then, yeah, I don't, don't mind that, right? I got some poppy parade ink on things there. So just kind of a fun, like fun fold, right? So definitely cased this layout from a card that's over in my stash of fun card layouts. And it is called the Garden Walk Designer Series Paper. So this is kind of what I have left of my paper here too. All right, so we'll get these things out. Okay, there, that and that. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna tell you guys about stuff, right? How to make this card. Okay, so you're gonna start with a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. There, we need to scoot that up a little bit more, don't we, so you guys can see, right? Garden wall, oh, thank you! Okay, so the pearls, Teresa came through for us. We have, so I'm gonna say those are garden green, um, gold, uh, this is petal pink. Yep, petal pink, and then these are pretty peacock. Mm, wait a minute, I don't know, I don't know which are which. Anyway, pretty peacock, I don't know. Are those pretty peacock or are those? Anyway, but that's why. So they're both really pretty deep kind of green colors. But thank you, Teresa. I appreciate that. Lovely assistance there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so did I, st I think I started to say this. You guys know this, right? Or if you're new to Facebook Live, you don't know this yet, right? So I will include all of the dimensions, all of the colors, all of the products and the item codes for you to order and recreate these projects on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? Um, oh, that's awesome, Anna. I'm glad you love this poppy parade. Yeah, it's such a beautiful, bright color, especially like for holiday time, right? Okay, so poppy parade card base, four and a quarter by eight and a half, and then we're gonna score it. Actually, it's easier if I say this way, at five and a half. So it's almost like I kind of lopped off, right? It would normally be at 11 inches, cut it down to eight and a half, still scored it at five and a half like we normally do, okay? But then we also have another piece of Poppy Parade cardstock that measures three and a half by eight and a half, and this one is scored at four and a quarter, so it's just right in half like that, okay? So this is gonna go, well, like that, right? So that one goes there. And then this one is gonna go here, okay? So you're gonna open there, and then you're gonna open there, like that, okay? Then, let me give you the dimensions for, so we have our designer series paper, this piece right here, measures three and one quarter by four inches, and then same on the inside, the white piece also measures three and one quarter by four inches. Then this piece of designer series paper right here measures four by two and three quarters, okay? And then I just have some, Wild Wheat and Garden Green cardstock for my stamping and punching, okay? We might not even need our die cutting machine on this one. As I'm looking at this, that's kind of lovely, okay? And you guys, maybe I go like that so you can see it a little bit better. Sharon, kudos to you for telling me. Do that, do that every once in a while. Okay, so let's do, we have our stamping. We might as well, did I do? Yeah, I did a little bit. I wanted you guys to see. i show you this again. So the modern garden stamp set will go that way right so you can see enjoy your special day best wishes for a fun-filled future together that one's a great like sentiment right for a um well wedding right wishing you the warm blessings of christmas and it's your birthday and then this fun kind of layer so you can see how that little so i use that little guy right inside there so fun right okay so let's do our stamping um, so where's our sentiment? It's in Poppy Parade. So, but you know what? I want to do my green first, so I don't have to like open and close stuff. So we're going to do the garden green. Okay. Garden green ink, garden green color in our designer series paper, garden green cardstock for our punch. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So we're going to stamp our little flower. You guys can see right in garden green. We're going to just pop that. Cool. Right. 
I love the detail on there, especially if your Garden Green ink isn't like that one looks like it's a little bit um, more inked up, I guess I'd say, right? Sometimes I'll grab a Kleenex and just kind of dab it in my ink pad if it's too inked up. Poppy Parade right inside there. That's cute, huh? Right? And then we're going to do our sentiment right here. The wishing you the warm blessings of Christmas. We are going to stamp that right on this piece right here. Okay, so we got our poppy parade. Put that right on there. Good. Yeah, so this is one that was super inky before. Um, and so I just literally took a Kleenex and kind of dabbed right in the middle just to kind of soak up a little bit of ink. So sometimes, you know, if you overly aggressively um, add ink to your ink pad, or sometimes they just kind of come that way or become that way, because I haven't even used this one in a while, and I was surprised at how inky it was. Uh, cool punch too, right? Just love that little label inside there. Okay, and then we are also gonna punch the bow punch. Still love this guy, right? So we're just gonna do a couple of those from Garden Green, okay? So there, I think we're good. Just scoot these out of the way so I don't get ink on anything I don't want it on. Okay, I think, are we ready to put things together? So Stormy just got up like something big might be happening, but um, fortunately he didn't start barking, so that's good. Right, Storm, just keep it quiet. We're almost there as he steps on my foot. <laughs> He's a little guy, so it doesn't really hurt, but... Oh my. Okay, so we're going to add adhesive to the back, a lot of adhesive, right, to this piece right here. I keep taking my glasses off and putting them back on. So they're going to go back on so I can try to get things lined up because this, um, the camera is about right where my head would normally be. So I'm always like, oh, I hope I do it. Well, I guess we'll do it well enough, right? And if you don't press too hard, if something looks wonky, we can always pull it back off. Okay, so now we're going to put adhesive on the back of our white piece. We're going to do run it, tip it back, right? That's how we use that adhesive. I finally learned, <laughs> it took me a really long time, um, to be good at the steel or seal, the stamp and seal. Run it and tip it back, kind of breaks that seal there too, right? Okay, so this piece is going to go right on there. We're going to add adhesive on this one. This is a cool, um, kind of a funky, right, with the... Um, Wild Wheat, not one of my most favorite colors, but I actually really kind of dig this designer series paper um, with that kind of Wild Wheat background on there, right? It's kind of something funky and different, okay? Next, what are we going to do? We are going to tie a bow around here, okay? This is the beautiful, the gold satin edge ribbon. Beautiful ribbon for your holiday projects, and I thought it kind of accented very nicely. I was going to use my... Um, wild wheat ribbon and then for whatever reason it just didn't feel quite right on this card so I went with a little bit softer with the gold but it's you know it's kind of a similar color or tone I guess as the wild wheat right I thought it kind of went nicely together okay there so we got our little bow I will play with these way too much so we're gonna just let that be good and happy right there okay next we're gonna grab dimensionals and we're going to put a couple of dimensionals behind our sentiment oh I got lucky there I got some ink on that side but hopefully it's not on the other side I don't think so I peel the dimensionals off here here this is what we're what we're trying to finish up making right here oops that's upside down that probably wouldn't work so well right okay so we're going to do wishing you the warm blessings of Christmas right there I need my little, where's my mat? My little silicone mat. Definitely need that for these little buddies here. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive behind each of these and kind of, let's see, we're going to just kind of tuck them back. And sometimes my um, dimensionals kind of get in the way, but I think we're doing all right there. And then we've got that one. Put that one right there. And then last finishing touch, we're going to add some more of our blooming pearls the gold ones again kind of coordinating with the gold in the ribbon kind of accents nicely I think with the wild wheat color there also all right what do you guys we'll go this way right what do you guys think kind of a fun card right um with that 
garden walk designer series paper. Okay, so let's see if I, maybe I'll turn this sideways. Where is this? So if we can do this, right? Okay, so to recap, starting October 1st, go help my friend Lisa in the meantime, help her, help her get to Mexico today and tomorrow. If you're going to order, order through Lisa, I'll give you her host code. She can do that. But starting on Sunday, October 1st, go ahead and order back through me. If you would, please, I would appreciate that. Um, let's see, where's the other project? I put this one right here. You're going to get both of these projects as a thank you from me, right? We're going to get both of these projects. Your name is going to be entered into the drawing to win the gift of giving stamp set. Such a cute stamp set, right? And then you also get to pick from the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial this month. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you also for helping me reach that $400,000 sales goal. I knew I was, I, I honestly, I didn't think we, we were going to do it. So I'm just so thankful, so grateful. Um, so appreciative to all of you guys for doing that. Okay. So thanks guys. Um, have a great weekend. Great end of September, and we'll see you. It's going to be two weeks from today because I have my one-day retreat next weekend. So I have lots to do to prep for that next week. And so I'm going to take Friday off. Well, not – I'm going to take it off from Facebook Live because i got to get everything set up because my friend Stacy that normally comes to help me, she broke her leg and her ankle, so now she's not coming. So I have to do it all by myself, which I'm very sad about. But anyway, it's still a great day. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, appreciate all of your comments and love. And just thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.